I'm Mike, and today we're here to ask the question, did some scientists just find some vegan Neanderthals? Were they just sitting in caves eating veggies and discussing animal liberation? We will never be able to know what they were talking about, but what am I talking about? I'm talking about this study from the journal Nature that was just released two days ago, and has already been covered by several news outlets. The study looked at the fossilized dental plaques of Neanderthals in two locations from around 48,000 years ago. The first group in Belgium was a pretty standard fit with our current idea of Neanderthals. Their fossilized plaque showed that they did eat meat. For example, they ate woolly rhinoceros, which went extinct about 10,000 years ago, so no dietary surprise here. But the second group found in a cave in Spain, well, the study says, quote, in contrast, no meat was detected in the diet of Neanderthals from El Cidrone Cave, Spain, and dietary components of mushrooms, pine nuts, and moss reflected forest gathering. And another one of the researchers, Dr. Antonio Rosas, told The Independent, again, quote, We were surprised not to find any remains of meat in the Asturias Neanderthals, given that they were thought to be predominantly meat eaters. However, we have found evidence that they enjoyed a varied diet, including a wide range of plants. I have to ask, was this a fossilized vegan meetup, perchance? Bro, you, do you want to take a fossil selfie with me? You know, just like, as you die, strike a cool pose? Let's do it, come on. The researchers were expecting to find at least a little bit of squirrel or something, but they found no animal products at all. No milk, it would be another 38,000 years until we developed that interesting habit, and it doesn't appear that there are any traces of eggs or other animal products in the study. Okay, maybe I'm just a vegan that's reading way too far into this. Oh wait, the lead author of the study, Laura Weyrich, a paleo microbiologist from the University of Adelaide said, quote, it is very indicative of a vegetarian diet. Interesting, this does get my gears turning about our possibly more plant-based past, but I don't want to make any sweeping generalizations or any prods at the paleo diet, which would be pretty easy at this point, but wait, Weyrich doesn't seem to hold back. She says, quote, it is very indicative of a vegetarian diet, probably the true paleo diet. Going on to say that, quote, it really looks like meat is kind of a new idea for hominids. Whew, well, there you have it, that's something. And this isn't really a new idea. We have previous studies showing how plant-based Neanderthals were. Like this study, which looked at Neanderthal fossilized dental plaques from nearly 50,000 years ago, they found that they were eating a lot of these modern high-carb vegan staples. I'm talking cooked starches like those in the wheat and pea family, as well as dates and cooked tubers. Quote, our data show that the Neanderthals in both environments included a spectrum of plant foods in their diets, including grass seeds, dates, legumes, plant underground storage organs, and other yet identified plants, and that several of these consumed plants had been cooked. So it's not the newest discovery ever in that sense. We have other studies showing Neanderthal populations appearing plant-based, and this obviously doesn't change the fact that Neanderthals can be found eating meat, but back to Rosas, quote, certainly our findings contrast markedly with the rather simplistic view of our ancient relatives in popular imagination. Yes, they were actually bearded hipster vegans. Blame vegans, these poor bearded hipster anemic. Not simple barbecue bros, very cultured, very hateable group. They probably went extinct just to be ironic. In all seriousness, this was probably not ideological and had more to do with how they lived in a forest habitat, though the intelligence of Neanderthals was very comparable, if not completely equal to humans. Their brains were the same size, they used advanced tools. So holding ideologies such as veganism is absolutely absolutely not impossible for them. One very interesting example of their intelligence from the study is that one of the Neanderthals had a tooth abscess and appeared to be using medicinal bark. Quote, Our findings support previous suggestions that El Cidrone 1 may have been self-medicating a dental abscess. This was the only individual whose calculus, or plaque, included sequences corresponding to poplar, which contains the natural painkiller salicylic acid, the active ingredient in aspirin, and also notably contains sequences of the natural antibiotic producing penicillin from the molded herbaceous material. Yes, they may have intentionally let poplar bark mold to create a penicillin aspirin hybrid treatment. Has this even been invented by modern humans yet? Patent pending me. 
Yes, this bark was only being used in the Neanderthal with the tooth abscess, but we have to wonder whether the penicillin aspect was intentional. I want to give them more credit. Native Americans did chew bark with salicylic acid for aspirin, so they knew, the Neanderthals knew, it's not impossible that they knew about the penicillin as well. Finally, just to preemptively address a comment that I feel like somebody is gonna troll me with down below. Oh, they were vegan? No wonder these guys went extinct. Stupid vegans. Actually, they didn't simply go extinct. We bred with them, which is why most non-African people have some Neanderthal DNA, with some people as high as 5%. Back to the main study, quote, Neanderthals remain our closest known extinct hominin relative who coexisted and occasionally interbred with anatomically moderate humans across Eurasia in the late Pleistocene epoch. In fact, the remaining part of the study is mainly how bacteria, some infectious, bounced back and forth between humans and Neanderthals and evolved. It's also worth noting that Neanderthals were jacked as well. One reason scientists believe that we aren't 95% Neanderthal and 5% human is because of their massive caloric requirements because of their muscular structure. Imagine trying to survive in the wild while simultaneously doing a 10,000 calorie a day bodybuilding eating challenge. In all seriousness, it was probably more like 5,000 calories as one paleoanthropologist calculated which is roughly equivalent to what somebody cycling in the Tour de France burns. So no we weren't necessarily physically superior to Neanderthals in any major way other than our ability to survive and reproduce while eating less than them. Finally back to the main question, could these literal cavemen and cavewomen have been vegan? My answer, there's nothing in the study showing that they weren't vegan. If you were to take a modern vegan and read their dental calculus 40,000 years into the future, you would find the same thing, no meat and a lot of plants. But because we can't say for sure how long of an eating period these dental plaques represent, it could have just been a vegan streak like Veganuary, or we could have just missed a little particle of squirrel or something. In the end, it's not unbelievable that they were sort of quasi-vegan or mostly vegan, that their surroundings provided enough plant foods, this was Spain in a forest after all, that they didn't really need to rely on animal sources, much like our ape cousins. But the study does mean that our current cultural understanding of cavemen diets that they have to include meat and a lot of it is very wrong. Final point, I have to mention that when our ancestors were fighting for their life to get enough calories and eating animal sources as well, they did not have a dietary choice. We have a dietary choice where we don't have to eat any animal products and we can still get too many calories and set Olympic strength records like Neanderthals probably would have if they were alive today. All right, that's it for today. Let me know down below what your take is on this. Were they ethical vegan Neanderthals or was it just a coincidence that they didn't find me? Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. I strike a cool pose. Let's do it, come on. Now we just wait till we die.